Hi, Heather here from Teaching with Coffee and Mascara. Today we are continuing our series on building a strong classroom community. And today our focus is gonna be on building a connection with our students. So you ask, what's the best way to build a connection? So first I wanna start off with um, a little bit of a, a little factoid and that is did you know that when you hear your name your body releases dopamine and serotonin basically just hearing your name someone else speaking your name gives you and a little bit of a rush and makes you feel happy so we want to do the same thing for our kids think about a time when you really truly felt welcome I know one school that I worked at, everybody kind of knew everybody. And, you know, as you walked in the door, I'd be like, hi, Heather, hey, Heather. And we would all say hi to each other. And it just, it felt so welcoming. It felt so good. It was a great way to start off our day. Then I worked at another school where everybody just kind of kept their head down. They just kind of kept laser focused on what they were doing. And honestly, the whole school climate just drastically changed and it was not as happy. It was not as welcoming as a school. This also led into the way that each school greeted their students. And so at that first school, we greeted our students as they came in the door each morning. At my next school, they didn't. So the way that we are going to make sure that students are hearing their name right off the bat as they come in for the day is, you guessed it, to greet your students at the door. So there's a couple of fun ways that you can do that. So I like to use something like this. And why I like to use this is that then students also get a choice because they get to choose the way that they want to be greeted, but it's something fun. And basically you're telling them, I'm happy you're here. And it might be just an elbow bump. Good morning, Maverick. Or fist bump, good morning, Heather but that already starts off their day better than just coming in the door and then, you know, you're like, get your backpacks unpacked, put your lunch boxes away. I've also found that my students, I always make sure that I have up on the board, like exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And I teach them how to use that without me. They also know that I'm giving my all to them at the door. It really only takes a couple of minutes Basically, instead of them coming in your classroom, they stand at the door and they line up. You stand at the door, you greet them as they come in, and they already have directions of what they're supposed to be doing coming in. So um, I don't do this on the very first day of school. I usually start this like the second or third day because we practice after we get there one of the days what do we do we practice hey this is what our morning's actually going to look like and we put our backpacks on and we line up in the hall and i said this is where i want you to stand and as you come in the door i'm going to say good morning and then when you go in here's what you're going to do and i kind of walk them through all of those steps um another way that you can hit this is at the end of the day, I do the same thing and I also tell them goodbye. So all of your students should kind of have their backpacks on. Of course, for lower grades, in the beginning, you may not be able to do this, but by the second semester, you should. Okay, bus riders. Bye Maverick, bye Heather, have a great day. And you stand there and you tell each kid bye, you kind of walk out the, watch out the door, make sure they get to the right area. And then you do like your next group of kids. And it just helps it just helps just create such a happier climate in your classroom. So I'm gonna challenge you to stand at your door and be greeting your kids this year. And I wanna tell you that it doesn't have to be the beginning of the school year. You can start this at any time you want to. You can start tomorrow if you want. All you have to do is show your kids what you're gonna do, teach them, and start it the very next day. You also don't even need something fancy like the, um, the printout that I showed you earlier. You could just say like, this week we're gonna do elbow bumps. And that could be like your classes thing, or you could switch it each week. Okay, this week we're gonna do fist bumps to say good morning, or we're gonna do a little dance. 
it's all the different fun ways to be greeted in the morning. But that most important part is actually to just make sure that you're saying each student's name as they walk in the door. All right, I hope that you have a great rest of your week. I will see you back here on Sunday. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can see what we're gonna be up to next week. This week was, these past few weeks were all about building classroom community. And now we are about to start getting into a small series all about um, classroom management and ways to build and grow your classroom management.